something a little bit different today. I'm going to be doing a little bit of painting in my favourite medium, uh, which is ink and bleach and water. So I've started with a, a nice piece of A2 watercolour paper and uh, a beautiful view, except I'm not doing anything to do with the view. I'm not really a landscape painter at all. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, I'm going to paint one of my favourite subjects, which is cats. I like cats. Uh, so what I want to capture is that the the stretch, the paws outstretched. So uh, I'm going to start by roughly working out where my baseline is, where is the floor level. I want to create a bit of negative space around the cat. So I'm going to have the tail curling up and over here and then it will be a nice sweep. One of the things that I like to do when I'm drawing is uh, create a shape in the, the paper which leads the eye um, <clears throat> so let's work it out so face will be head will probably be somewhere around here ish <clears throat> you have that lovely big arched back sweeping down like that uh, the tail will probably Let's have a look. So, just find the zigzag of the back legs, which is probably somewhere around there. Um, I don't even know if you can see the uh, the pencil marks on this at the moment, but never mind. Um, <clears throat> there's a look now. Does make a nice change to sawdust. To be fair, um, doing a little bit of uh, painting, the yeah, face probably isn't big enough, get those butt cheeks in there, and For those of you who don't know, um, my my background is in illustration. My degree was uh, children's book illustration, so I tend to uh, I tend to do things in a very illustrative style. You might have noticed some of my sort of favourite um, carvings to do are things like fantasy fairies and, and, and things like that, and. Um, uh, you'll you'll probably have, have noticed that just from looking at my uh, my sculptures and things. <clears throat> uh, let's have a look. That's uh, not quite right about that tail. But we'll work that out in a bit. I'm actually going to enlarge the head slightly. Proportions are such a difficult thing to do, and uh, I'll be quite honest I do tend to use a lot of reference love Google image search uh, it's really helpful and I, uh, I uh, yeah there's so many easy things you can do like just searching for uh, stretching cat or something along those lines just get that really lovely deep chest coming in there and we want that so the shoulder shoulder blades are going to be somewhere around here, and we want to get that lovely kind of sweep of the uh, those front legs. Now I'm going to be adding in some um, sorts of inky brush strokes to indicate for um, a little bit like my sculptures. I'm. I, I consider myself more of a um, uh, an impressionist <clears throat> rather than um, uh, a realist when it comes to carving and, and drawing and things. So this probably isn't enough of an arch in the back there, but uh, we'll we'll appraise it once I start painting in the D 
details and the colour and things. But I love the way that I'm probably slightly exaggerating the uh, tail, the curve of the tail there. <coughs> it's probably about that length, maybe something like that. I don't know. We'll find out. It might look awful. You never know. We'll find out. So, um, Do the other leg behind there, just give it a little bit of depth, and then uh, yeah, probably about ready to start painting. I think I'm just going to work out roughly where the eye is going to be sitting, which will probably be about there, bottom of the face, uh, bottom of the head will be there ish. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm using a, a Chinese calligraphy brush to um, to uh, to get this one done. I am using a bit of uh, Parker ink. I am, I love the depth of colour in this black, and I'm going to be splashing it on. I'm not going to be worrying about drips. I quite like drips and splashes. To be honest, it adds so much more texture and life. To a piece, I'm not worrying about any of these kind of drippy bits that come down. I'll probably be adding more of those in anyway. So, one of the great things about this sort of style is it doesn't matter if, like me, you've got a bit of a tremor. Uh, it's not from chainsawing, it's actually just a hereditary essential tremor. I don't know what's essential about it. It doesn't seem very essential to me. Um, I'd, I'd rather not have it, but uh, it does make things a little bit more interesting when I'm uh, trying to do anything precise. Which is, I think, why I'm uh, an impressionist and not somebody who's really precise. You've got to hold my wrist in order to stop the brush jiggling around. <clears throat> Which essentially doesn't really matter when you're chainsaw carving. I think the vibrations of the chainsaw just cancel it out. Um, but it does mean that I do find it very difficult when it comes to doing anything that's vaguely precise. So I'm just going to be leaving a little bit of a a gap there for the eye. You'll notice that I'm really kind of just painting in the whole thing, uh, not worrying about depth at this particular point in time because that's where the bleach comes in. Uh, and sometimes the, the end of the brush kind of splits, but I really like that kind of uh, randomness, if you like. <clears throat> so at this point in time, I'm going to stand back and look at the overall shape of this. Uh, we'll probably get more to add on top of the, the foreleg there. <clears throat> and then this is the point where I'm like, okay, we can work out roughly where the tail comes out. And there's, there's a point on the back of a cat where it just pops out the back there. Oh, I can hear our lovely dog Poppy choking in the background there. She's probably swallowed a bit of a stick. Should be fine. Uh, let's get this lovely sweep of a tail around there there we go oh gosh slightly uh, messy there but that doesn't really matter I suppose having fun anyway look at that, there we go it's a nice stretchy cat 
now. Add a little bit more goings on at the back there. <clears throat> right, here's my favourite bit, the bleach. Love a bit of this. So I'm going to put some highlights in across the cat's back and you'll just slowly start to see that bleaching out the colour in such a lovely random way. I do love this medium, it's so nice. Add in the uh, little bits there. Highlight across the cat's face. Love the way it starts creeping in there. And now here we go. Here's the point where we can put some fine strokes in just to highlight the fact that there's one foot in front of the other at the back there. or two of bleach. A tiny little flick of ink maybe. Yeah. Let's give it a bit of life. Uh, in case you hadn't realised I quite like making a mess. Um, and then to be honest I'm looking at that and going I quite like that as it is. I might just sign it very very roughly and uh, uh, I'll probably come back to that a bit later and do a bit more to it but as it is at the moment I don't, I'm quite liking it I think we need a wee bit more bleach on this back leg here just to amplify that a bit and stick some more across the front leg just not random enough there and then put some more ink in there. <coughs> but I think we're pretty much there. So there you go. There's um uh my other side and slightly less sawdusty side to my artwork which I uh, I quite enjoy doing. Thanks for watching. Thank you.